think it's time to start. Well, hello everyone, hello again, here, back again, here in London. So nice to be with you again for one and a half hour in collaboration with Air Dance, of course, giving me this opportunity here at home in London. Let me check. Yeah, we're on, <laughs> everything good. Checking, sh shutting down my phone, otherwise it's gonna shout and scream. So, I hope you are all keeping safe and healthy. And today, the theme of the day, the topic, is to go a bit into musicality. So, of course, I chose particularly that subject today because in relation to what would have been the most incredible Blackpool Festival, May is very famous for that, the Blackpool Festival, which we are all, we can all relate to, we can all, you know, grasp and we know what we are talking about. Blackpool is a culmination of all energy and for us dancers it's the peak. So there is a particular feel towards this Blackpool, which doesn't of course underestimate the other comps, but still this Blackpool has something special. So therefore I wanted to relate a bit more to musicality, not only to the aspect of sound, that will be the main part of the, of the lecture. It will be more about the sound we hear, but the sound we make, how we relate to what we hear, and what do we re how do we respond to that, but also not only the music sound, but the sound that is created by the setting, by the people, by what's going on around, so a bit more awareness of the sound in all its uh, terminology. And also even the no sound idea, the stillness, the sound, the silence, the feeling of actually being still and quiet and and, and, and silence for a moment. So that would be a bit that. And I want to use the two terms that are interlocking and interplaying. And to go a bit more in, in depth with this, to explain, I'll give it a bit of an example. First, as I spoke to you in the first group, first lecture a while ago, I spoke about the components of dance, which are made by the performer, the movement, the setting and the sound. So the whole, collaboration of those four makes the dance or the performance happen and of course about the setting if I take setting for a minute as an example to use interact interlock and interplay so if I relate a bit to this Blackpool again and this setting in Blackpool we all know this ballroom and the winter garden and the empress ballroom and empress orchestra we all know the feeling and the atmosphere that it has it's royal, it has this gold, the high ceiling is very spacious in a way of, sp of uh, setting, it has high ceiling with gold and the uh, painting or all these little angels, you know, the way the people are, where the people are located around the floor, so the location of the seatings and the balconies and the orchestra on one side and alongside, people on the three sides mainly so we kind of know even the color, these uh, red chairs and the blue and the gold. It's quite flamboyant, quite impressive, qu quite royal in the way, a bit ceremonial in that way. So in that sense, this could be something that actually you want to follow. You want to follow this, this feeling and go with that royal and be flamboyant in your costume and in your makeup and a bit of a, you know, of a royal and full on totally playing with this, this surrounding. So it's a bit full of color and my costume will have this gold and blue and red and makeup and hair and the whole thing. That's going to give me a feeling by following, by matching nearly, by matching with the setting, with the surrounding, by matching with the form. So that could be one possibility that you are a bit more in sync with what's happening around and everything in your costume, in your makeup, in even your energy is actually projected in a similar way. So in that relationship that we would call a bit more this idea of interlocking. So we are in sync, in tune, it's interlocking, it uh, speak in a similar way, in a similar form as the, the setting. In that case, I take setting. But another possibility, which is just another way, so that doesn't mean this is bad, this is just one way, but another way would be to find a bit maybe your, your differentiation to, 
to what's happening around. So it's flamboyant, it has a pomp and ceremony feeling, uh, but you actually want to be a little bit more undertoned, maybe a bit more of a modern, slick, sophisticated, but contemporary dress look, a bit more subtle makeup, not, you know, Christmas tree, a little bit softer, but that will enhance a bit more your feature maybe. And then that dress that will be more about the movement and the slickness and sort of much simpler in attitude, a bit more modern. And then find the, even the relationship. So the, the ballroom is setting up such an atmosphere. The whole energy in the ballroom is, is this way, but on that floor, I am going to have a different feel, a different approach. And that could be an approach that would be enhanced in your costuming as well. So simplicity, a bit more like, I, I mean, I refer to myself, but my, one of my favorite look was just a pure, simple black mesh, see-through black with a little bit of a texture of velour decor around in a, in a snake type of look and no stones. And actually the no stones and that simple but slick skirt and fast and to the point actually made a big effect in that busyness and grant and royalness and colorfulness of the ballroom. So to find a bit this differentiation and how you can actually make quite a strong statement in relation to that by not always matching with what is happening by actually finding a bit of a, a different feel to it, which is not for sake of being different, just to see maybe sometimes how it could also be effective and be strong in that sense. So that would be a bit this idea, but we call it a bit more interplaying, not only following and matching and in unity with what is happening. And I take now a bit this setting of Blackpool because that's very visual, of course, we can all recognize even in the feeling there of this atmosphere it's a warm ballroom and it's like people are quite on and ready and it's a bit noisy so how do you relate to that do you also go noisy and full and, and ready or do you find the peace in that do you find your own calmness from and then maybe it's space to sometimes follow that energy so in that sense, it's, it's quite an awareness of bit putting your finger up in the air or feeling, tasting a bit what's happening around me. Even here today in my house, I have to be a bit more in touch with what is happening here. I can hear maybe at the back the, the neighbor cutting his grass. Could this give me, oh, it's actually quite cool, something happening there, but I'm here with you and I'm going to focus on what I'm doing right here and now. And that is not gonna affect me. Or sometimes, oh, okay, the neighbor's doing that. I'm aware of that, gives me a sense of relaxation and then I'm back on. So it, it's just a bit more awareness, I think that would be the big word. And how do you deal with what's happening around you? Is it consciously going with it or is it a bit more not going? Sometimes interrupting, sometimes adding, sometimes whoa, waiting, sometimes stopping and adding, for example. So we're gonna go a bit deeper into some physical exercises for you to do, but I just wanna add one more thing to my plan, if I can say, or my script. Another thing about this Blackpool, because it's such a memorable uh, place and atmosphere, and something a bit more about this idea of actually independent, independence uh, aspect uh, that has not so much anything to do with your performance. So for example, if I explain myself, the lighting on the floor, we all know, I mean, or maybe you don't know, but we knew that there were two guys standing on each corner of the balconies up there and they are controlling the lighting on the floor and they these two guys are actually the ones who are deciding where the floor the light is gonna go and of course they make sure they travel around a lot but it happens to fall on you or not it's n not really your control it's not you can't control that they are a bit controlling that but at the same time they might be drinking whatever beer or you know or wine and just rolling that thing, not even looking. But there is a particular thing about this lighting on the floor. So you can decide, am I actually gonna try and match with this light and be quite aware there is light, let's go there. 
or do you feel no let's just ignore the light I'm doing my thing I'm not bothered with this or do you realize a bit okay so this light is busy but that makes the edge a bit darker a bit further from the edge it's a bit more bright so maybe we need to find a bit of distance from the people where there is more light naturally because the guys they don't reach the edges so there would be a bit of a sense of awareness how can I deal with this the light is like this I can't control it but I can know that there is more light in the middle than at the front and that for the same purpose you are dancing and you feel the audience wants to have more attention from you so you forget the light and you go closer to the audience and you have a bit of a interplay with the audience interaction you know so I'm just using that as an example that sometimes external factors have nothing to do with your performance and that's very often the case in our in our competitive world it's quite a spontaneous world unpredictable unexpected you gum on the floor you have a plan you know your choreography you know how you're gonna look like but you don't know the music you're gonna get you don't know the audience who's going to be there where exactly they're going to be how is the floor going to be how is the light gonna be all this stuff is a bit out of control so this is something that you have to be at the same time quite flexible to be able to react but also aware okay very aware very acknowledge very much first see look around taste it have a feel about it and then make a quick response to it and actually any response would be okay ignoring it or talking to it or going with it what's not okay is that if there is no response a bit that look that i'm just gonna do my my job i'm gonna do my cha 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 and i'm going to be great in my body on ready but i'm not gonna talk i'm not gonna respond i'm not gonna react to what's happening around so that would be the mistake that would be probably a bit more interlocking i'm just gonna do my script my timing my action and i'm not gonna be here present in a sense of i want to communicate with my audience I want to feel they are here and I'm here for them and we're going to speak in that sense. So that is a bit the thing about this idea of musicality in sense of everything. Musicality in sense of how you speak to the audience. Is the audience having a rhythm and you go with that rhythm? Is the audience quiet? And you feel, whoa, come on, let's give it a go. Are you ready? And now easy, easy. So that, again, could be that it actually affects you and infects you, or it brings on something that you could stimulate. It stimulates. So enough talking for now. We're going to go into specific things about the music, musicality and musicality of of course again the same idea about this music how we interlock with it which is a way we follow the music we go with the music we are on the beat so even in terms of cha-cha there is a two three cha-cha one two three cha-cha one so i'm like quite locking with it clear but even in that sense of breath already how my breath has its own organization and the timing but my breath has maybe more so it's so i have a breath to it so i'm not actually naturally not really interlocking we think we are often interlocking but we have already a sense of breath that is ours that it that belongs to us and that doesn't really go with the beat or with the cadence of the music so a bit more a sense of being through breathing through active touch is it a lighter feeling even if you feel wherever you are in your in your home for yourself sensing even that cha cha am i a bit light tick attack cha 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 attack attack tick 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 or a bit more heavy ta ta boom boom ta ka boom 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 bit more heavy or boom boom cha 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 a bit stronger so to feel a bit lighter tick 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 with that tick 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 wow tick a bit heavier or boom boom bit stronger in the energy so again the sense of change which is in itself already a bit more facility to play and to interplay with the music 
So one thing about, before I go too quickly, about this approach would be if you sense that you first you have that the earring sound, so you're listening to the music. If I take a music, for example, T for two and two for T, alarm for you and you for me, you know, T for two. So it's quite a light ta 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 da. So a bit up and light and light in, uh, and free and happy in that sense. But T for two and two coup pou pa ta vum hui tu. Da 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 da, pa, and then back to etiqueta. So not to go only with it, to actually find. I wanna be a big boom, ka ka, ka sa, ka ga, ga zoom. Dum, da da, and then back to it again. So it's a feeling of we listen to the mood of the music, and we have to enter this music. Now that sounds maybe very strange and abstract, but we have a tendency very often to listen to things. And as a dancer, maybe we think, oh, the music is so strong and so beautiful and so important, and I'm just going to be behind it. And that's maybe not actually to be the music, to be more stronger than the music, more important than the music, that your body is already the music. So the music is entering you, piercing in your home. And now you have to feel that music, feeling the music with different ideas. I already gave you one about the sense of um, weight, how you play in terms of weight to the music, even the weight of the music, like I said, a bit a lighter weight. No, we want to be a bit heavier in relation to that, a bit stronger, a bit more forward to the music. So anyway, we have to fill the music with something. Not that the music is there and I'm here, but I'm in that music, right in here. And now I'm going to speak with my different fillers. So feeling it, not only feeling the music, that could be sometimes you feel and you listen and feel, and now you fill it with a mood, with a sensation, with a, with a body sound that is a bit more, the, th the idea I spoke about, the breath, my breath to that music. So that music is going T for two and two for two. Breathe because Tika Wachika Pa Tan Kupu For example. So it's still going there, it's still continuing, but you control what you want to project in sense of rhythm, in sense of dynamic, in sense of mood. And that would be really something that I think you can practice at home. You know, you have a chance now to go there deeper, a bit finding how you listen to this music and how you talk to it, how you respond to it. So T42 is a, a, a good one, as <laughs> it's quite an obvious one. If I take a Talk to the animal, speak their languages, nearly forgot. Talk to the animal, speak their languages, la 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 la. So that again is another mood, nice words, could be nice to go with it for a little bit. It's a nice feeling, but two minutes of that and people will disappear on you a bit. So how do you interplay with this a bit? So talk to the animal. La 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 la. Now I don't know, but anyway. Talk to the animal. Vumba la la la. Ju do 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 and now I have to find the filler. And the filler could be, as I said, now I'm busy with my breath, with my energy, my tension in my body, in my muscles, in my holding. Is it I, that I'm holding the music or I release the music? So now, you know, we talk a lot, a lot, a lot about ourselves, but do you hold the music? Imagine it that your partner is now the music. So you hold that music. 
or you let go to that talk to the animal. Or you, or you disturb the music. I want to disturb it. I don't want to go with it. So, you know, you disturb the music. Ooh, suddenly that brings me there. I disturb it a little bit whoop, to scare me, a little bit rubato, so not with the music, a bit of a disturbing chaos, adding, adding, I want to add some extra rhythm, you know, I want to stop, talk to the animal, stop, yeah, so it's not uh, that you go, if I would, be interlocking all the time. I would be talk to the animal. So I'm a bit sort of there with my step, but not there with my energy. I'm there with my singing, but not there with my body. So if I interplay, even keeping this step, it has to start with something. I hear that music, but it's me. Yeah? For example. Why I say for example every time? Ah, you notice things about yourself when you have to talk to the wall. <laughs> so this musicality. So I, I went a bit into this disturbing it and it would be that music. So I don't follow it only, I don't only listen to it, but I have to fill it with different ideas. And these are just words, but disturbing is quite nice because it suddenly makes a statement. Whoa, what was that? It's not, some people might think, what was that? Some people might be like, whoa, that was impressive. And some people might be like, uh -uh, don't do that, <laughs> you know. Again, it's not about them, it's about what, how can you find some sort of stimulants and challenge for yourself to go a bit outside the box and create. And, and create not to impress so much, but to express, express yourself with different feel, different, you know, I, my biggest uh, sort of realization was when I realized that dan my dancing was my ticket to sort of freedom of expression. I could in a way express anything, my fear even, my uh, anxiety maybe, my uh, vulnerability or anything, or wah, my being ready. And I'm not like this naturally. I'm shy and not really, yeah, I'm more reserved, but actually vroom, I could be a bit more of a, a person on that floor. Anyway, so disturb, ignore it. Ignore would be also a big, a big statement that the music is doing that, di, da, da, but I ignore, I stop, I ignore, or I just walk, have a breath for me, and now back into it. So ignoring the music, which I'm gonna show a bit deeper. Lean, lean to the music, leaning like we did this before, I lean in the space, I lean, I lean back, leaning back, could be in the music. Talk to the animal. So I lean a bit, you know, even here. Um, I lean, lean and push. Even here I push a bit more to the music. So lean, press into the music, pierce. So idea of I pierce in that music. So again, T for two and two for T with me for you. With me for me, you Yeah, so lean, pierce, press, push, stop, and then go with it for a little bit. Yeah? So it's all a bit to do with, in a way, hearing, listening, finding yourself, where am I, what's going on, and now how do I feel it? How do I feel my movement and the music with something specific? So 
I would like to go a bit more into music, obviously. So I will move this away for a while. And I will put some music because it's quite obvious to listen, of course, when you hear to the music, hear the music and get immediately a sort of a feel to it. Let's put the faster one. Even this. That one. Da, 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 da. It gives me that, so I can be here and I listen to it. Pa, pa, pa. Or I'm here in that music, and now you. Yeah? So for example, not only into the music and behind it, a bit forward, fierce, weight, light, even the slight but lighter than quiet, quiet. And back off and build up again. Anticipate. You anticipate. You know, if I take that step, one, two, step, sorry. Anticipate. And go. Walk, walk. So you have a sense of anticipation where you go next. Not only in the now. Cha cha one. Cha cha one. Cha cha one. And three cha one. I'm losing the plot here. Not only with the music. So even here. Yeah? So this is quite clear one. Another one. So that one, which has already a certain mood, it's quite forward, it's like a bit of that. Ooh, we want to go more in, a bit more inside, not only there. So ooh, a bit there, and then pick it up. Yeah, let's hear it again. So there also could be excitement, yes, look. Yeah, so some ways it's another music. You know that one? Quieter, a bit heavier. Boom, boom. A bit lower it feels. So maybe you want to be a bit upper here, or maybe it's nice. Stay there. Boom, boom, but have some accent. Yep. So. so this one. Boom, such so immediately a vibrant feel to it, like a bit the engine is already there, present, forward. So maybe you need to yeah. and now forward more to go back. Yeah? So there is a thing of that the music is good already, of course. It's amazing. So it can already give you a mood to your body, but you have to then still try to actually make it more visual. So even if this music gives that mood, but you even more have the daring to push it more forward in terms of volume. So it is a bit more strong. I'm even stronger than that music. I'm even more important than that music. So that would be a bit how to deal with this music. And before, so I uh, go straight into some steps because we need some steps. I made a little choreography for you. And even there in this choreography, I played a little bit with this interplay idea of 
not only following the cha-cha characteristic form so it's not going to be only cha-cha-cha institutional cha-cha-cha it will have a flavor of other form of dances so we will use also the floor at some stage so we will use different levels as well and but the main thing so to challenge yourself to some different levels nice as well not only on our feet but differently and uh, so to get a bit outside this okay this is the form and I have a bit of that other factors ideas this is also interplay not only in terms of music but the choreography to music so we starting on our like I did we go on our right leg and we do time steps slow cha 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 syncopated timing two and three quick timing cha cha one wapa cha timing two and three so ball change then we do one single spiral four one with the ball change this could be two spiral but for now we do one so wapa cha timing cha one and we are settled in our right hip then we're gonna go walk and we curve the lock three and cha cha into ronde two and three another ronde cha cha one and that's gonna be like a bit of a ronde either cha cha one and then we are standing on our right then we go a foot rhythm two so we pow, we put the big toe down three levity rhythm cha cha one walk 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 turn lock cha cha lock forward sorry now we're gonna go walk turn cha one and du double lock a uh, three a uh, cha cha one yeah so we repeat i'm already fully wet and three four one two three cha cha one and two and three cha cha one a uh, three four one two three a uh, cha cha one two a uh, three cha cha one we are one two then we go three a uh, one yeah walk 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 lock step forward step turn stop ripple cha a uh, lock a uh, lock a uh, lock double lock we're gonna turn on our left leg and step side so this would be more like a side step turn a stop or turn one to move there yeah personalize it a little bit or down prepare to boom whatever you want but we go so this is three a uh, cha 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 two three cha one okay we go Cuban break, slow, three, four, one, two, uh, three, ah, uh, cha, cha, one, wapa, cha, tami. Now we go into the more contemporary thing. So we do a head roll, two, three, cha, re recover, and we're gonna go hop, skip, hop, skip, cha, one, yeah? Two, drop the leg. Four, one, we move away from that point. So we are here. Two, three, cha, one, two, four, one, we move away. Four, one, we, leg. we do drunken sail, rising up. Two and three, cha, cha, one. So we are there. Ta, ka, pa, ta, ka, za. Open again into this split position yeah then let's repeat from the double lock a uh, three a uh, cha 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 two three cha cha one two three four one two a uh, three a uh, cha cha one a uh, three cha cha one two three cha one two four one two a uh, three cha cha one one is down now it's a bit of a funky jazz thing but and boys or men you know could be too i'm gonna do the lady version but 
you want to do a bit more your way so ta, za could be but anyway we go right arm on the hip so on two three we touch the leg for the girls so two three four one two three man can do two three four one two three yeah so like a body ripper boom girl ta, pa, ta, 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 za. but of course i'm gonna be this way yeah two three four one two three we are here then we do a little bit here on three we're gonna do four a little bit of a levity rhythm four so three four one so this is like a four 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 a roll of the chest four with three four we keep looking there four one into ronde four one and two three yeah so i will be back here two three four one two three four one two three head roll on three then you do hip hip only the hip cha cha one drop so cha cha one two three four ball change yeah three cha cha one drop drop ball change now comes the tricky part now we're gonna do so four one we roll again it's made of rolling chest rolling chest rolling chest rolling chest as you go down so two and you have to be one way and then the other so try hold like that then you're gonna run the leg and stand up onto it okay so it has to happen in one go basically so uh, here we are split weight I'm just trying to teach you quickly the choreography see timing about it yeah and I'm aware this is outside the box but it's purposely made <laughs> So we go two and we start it's more like a look with a hand gesture two three four one two three four one two three a cha cha one two three four two three four one two three four so on four we have to come up all right so if i do it slowly i'm here i do a hip roll chest which leads the hip there and there and i'm keeping my focus there ready to stretch that leg back so arch and turn and now you're here put immediately your hip forward all right so this is the thing let me get a bit of a zip of water we repeat from the beginning I'm going to do it facing you this time so hopefully you can mirror find the, that you're on the opposite leg so cha cha one two three cha 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 two and three cha cha one a three four one two three and cha cha one two and three cha cha one two three woo cha one walk walk lock step four two stop sorry stop ripple back and lock 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 so i want to emphasize more here the hip and not so much traveling so here is more a stop to stop so that's my statement to stop and ripple is yatta 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 for the back hip turn stretch and change slow cuban break two and three and cha cha one and three cha cha break whoa whoa da whoo back easy whoo picaza drunken cell two three four one two three four one 
three and cha 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 down four two one two three one walk 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 stop yeah so I'm, I, I know it's fast but for now you can re-look at it look at the step but I want to go into the subject right away so of course steps is already sort of difficult to grasp the coordination the timing and now we're going to actually try to interact interlock and interplay with the music but in that way already this sense of there is a rhythm here whom, which is not in the music music does that but I have it this and now I'm back to the music so that is already in itself an interplay and sometimes we are not aware but we interplay quite often with the music naturally like I said at the beginning because you, you all stop for example you don't just move for, for three minutes you have stopped and then you pick it up again and this stops music is not stopping the music doesn't stop the music keeps going you stop so now it's a matter of you being a bit more statement like and being aware that it's not there in the music but I, I am doing it and now I'm back to the music again so already that differentiation would be nice for you to pay attention a bit am I all the time following the music which more likely not you naturally probably already have a lot of interplay in your own rhythm in your own timing in your own choreography and now to make it more conscious even even more aware that would be the thing so let me give you a little bit of this routine with music and I'm gonna be busy with this interlocking and interplaying no so I'm not gonna only interplay I'm also gonna interlock at times and I will have a slower cha-cha to start with so I will not put Blackpool right away I think I will put a bit more funky one Why not? Let's just do Blackpool. Go on. So. So this is already part of my interplay. fun so yeah and even it's because this choreography is for example is going down I don't want to go with the timing at all I want to go with my flow because if I think two three four one two three and four I'm like no it's not gonna work I have to have a feeling of that rhythm and that could be that could be that and that sound has to then enter that music or be in that music so but of course there is this whole thing of sometimes about the mood going with it lighter than it heavier than this building it up anticipating something releasing it free 
chaos leaning again stop and then build up again so all these things they have to be there as a filler you have to fill it with yourself and that has to be expressed and uh, projected not only nice timing nice touch and nice action what else have you got in your rucksack so if I put another music um, I don't know why I would put another music <laughs> that's the question I think because Leah likes that music and she asked me to dance on this music many many times and she said mommy did you ever dance on Senorita from this popular one um, that's not even here from Shawn Mendes or whatever his name and uh, and I said, no, I never did it. I did Despacito, but I never did Senorita. So I promised that I would do it. So I'm going to do it <laughs> on this Senorita. So, and you can't say, no, don't do it. So I'm just going to do it. <laughs> anyway, maybe it fits quite nicely with that mood. It's another mood, of course, another mood, this a bit more like easy bounce, sunshine, you know. Tequila. A bit of that hopefully you had something out of that <laughs> enjoy it let's have a break and then we come back and we do some samba musicality in samba thank you see you soon <laughs> 